All right, YouTube, do a quick review on this uh, key bar here. Now, this is something that my wife got me for Valentine's Day. I guess I haven't really had it, but maybe a week. Um, overall impressions, it's top class as far as workmanship. Um, the materials are really well made. Um, it's very lightweight, which is probably due to the carbon fiber scale on this side. Um, comes with a spot for a, like a place to put, I guess a ring, just in case you wanted to put a key fob or some other keys that don't fit. It's also got the pocket clip. Um, like I said, the one I've got is carbon fiber, and I think this is aluminum, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it is. Um, like I said, overall impressions, I like it. It's very lightweight. You know, I've got all my keys and it doesn't doesn't jingle when I walk. Um, I've actually got this on there just so that I can clip it in my bag when I'm not using it. And it's just a place to hang it. Um, you know, I've got my truck key in here, which comes out pretty easily. And the only, the only thing is, I don't know if you can tell, but this, it's got a larger opening in the key. So what that does is, is it allows the key to go back and forth. That, I mean, I'm having to put a little pressure on it, but that does do that, which is not a deal breaker, but kind of sucks. But it's not really a fault of the actual product. It's more of a fault of of um, just the key in general. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but actually none of my keys are straight, which... I don't know if it's just my keys are bent or what, but you can tell these angle down. This way, they angle down. And with this key, it's actually, well, I didn't do it that time, but anyways, but I don't know if it's the product or maybe it's the pressure that this, the clip it's putting on, pushing those down, forcing that up. I don't, I don't know. But overall, you know, I do like the product. It's well made. It's really nice when I keep all my keys organized. It's got the belt clip, you know, you can clip it on. I don't carry it that way. Um, you know, I guess for size comparison, here's a um, Spyderco Paramilitary 2 fairly common knife uh, I've actually got it got a quite quite a bit more keys I think this is the middle size um, post because it does come with I'll show you in a minute it comes with different hardware um, there's small bolt middle size and the large I don't know how many you can accommodate but I've got let's see one two three four five six I got seven keys plus the ring right here as well as the pocket clip so got quite a bit on there but you know and, and I would just say that you really have to be careful because once you turn these keys out and you put them in to turn you do since you actually have something to hold on to you actually tend to want to put too much torque and you could break your keys I don't worry too much about breaking this and from what I understand the guy who owns the company says if you are able to break this gladly replace it so you know I mean, don't don't mark my words on that but I'm fairly certain that's what I read or heard it says if you're able to tweak it or break it or anything he'll replace it so um, the carbon fiber does make this a lot lighter I haven't actually been able to fill it with um, with both scales being the aluminum but you know, it's pretty thick slab it's about the width of a key I would say, but like I said, it's well made. Very. I don't know if it's worth the money. I think this particular one was fifty-five dollars, which to me is a whole lot of money for what you get. But it is well made, so I mean, I guess there's a premium on made in America, which is good. And obviously, the guy's got to make a living, and I don't begrudge that. Um, but I do feel like what you get, it's a little expensive. But, you know, what isn't? Um, 
This one comes, there's two O-rings underneath these, underneath both these bolts, which allows you to, once you put the pressure down um, and getting them tight, they don't actually move, which I think was a problem with some of the previous ones because it didn't have anything to, to keep the pressure on. But uh, the tin that it comes in, really nice tin. It looks, reminds me of an Altoids can, which it probably is. Um, when you do get it, you get his card it says thank you which is a nice touch uh, it's got all the ways to contact them stop the noise I guess that's their big their big uh, push or whatever but if you can tell this is the long and this is the short and you got a bunch of these washers which go in between each one but it's kind of how it comes packaged so it's really neat I mean it's you know it's um, well thought out I suppose and it's a neat way to package it plus you got another use for this you can make a little fire kit with it or just use it for storage or whatever else but like I said it's a, it's a great product and I've enjoyed using it the last couple of days and I might do a follow up review if I run into any issues um, so far I like it and um, I do want to say that if you watch some of the other videos uh, some people have had some issues getting it put together and uh, I can only say that it wasn't the easiest thing in the world but it wasn't as difficult as some people make it out to be and it makes me wonder if you know they could even put together a pop tart you know I mean it's kind of ridiculous the, the way some people have ranted about how to get them put together and getting everything lined up and whatnot but I didn't find it to be that difficult it definitely wasn't something I could do blindfolded, but it wasn't tremendously difficult. But that's my review, and if you got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.